Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. Hello, how are you? I have my fragrances of the week. I am so happy, whomever you are, that you tuned in. I also wanted to say thank you for watching my video, and please like and subscribe down below. Just give you a heads up, I have a very clingy German Shepherd that's not feeling great this week in my office, and I batch tape. Um, when you see my videos tomorrow, my candles of the week, you will see the chaos that ensued because I just taped that one. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys what I wore this week and my thoughts on it, those types of things. I am coming up towards the end of my project Use It Up for May, finishing most of my products. I think I have only like one set left and I'm done, but I am gonna to talk to you guys about what I wore. First one I wore this week was Midsummer Dream. This is one of my favorites. I did finish up the rest of the set. This smells like Le Impertrust 3 from D&G, if I can get the name right. Um, the notes are Salted Pear, Fresh Nectarine, and Seaside Lily. I really like this one. My husband likes this one, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. I used about half the mist, which was full, and I used usually use about half a mist to a set because that's just kind of the rate I go. It usually takes like two lotions or creams to finish up a mist for me. Another one that I wore this week and I finished the other bottle of was Pastel Skies. I have multiples of this one because it's a favorite of mine. The notes are soft cloud berries, pink spun sugar, and coconut musk. It does smell very similar to cotton candy clouds but it is definitely not the same. I really like this fragrance, and if I saw it came back, I would definitely purchase more. And one of my all-time favorites I used this week is Strawberry Pound Cake. I finished the rest of the set that I have. Um, this one I've used previously, but I did finish a Shimmer Mist in this one too. Um, did not finish this particular mist, but I did finish the rest of the set for it. This is a favorite of mine. I know a lot of people either love this one or hate it, but it's a love for me probably an obsession for me if you think about it. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I will forever buy this and buy backups of it. As long as they have it, I will be buying it. Okay, where's this lid too? The next one that I'm using that I kind of added to what I'm using because I'm almost done with the other stuff is Happy Birthday. This is like three quarters of the way finished. I don't have the notes off the top of my head but it says frosted vanilla on the on the back i believe it's a dupe for one of the cookie ones i'm not sure which one but i did use it yesterday and i like this one because it has a lot of staying power actually another one that i've added since my project use it up is almost empty is the midnight amber glow and this one what i've been doing for all the project use it up and all the stuff i use one particular scent at night and then whatever I feel like rotating through that day, just until I finish them up. Um, I'm using Midnight Amber Glow again. This is probably the second or third time in a row. I'm finishing up my last big cream of it. It's Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. I really like this, and the reason I'm wearing it at nighttime is because it's not quite the season for this one, but I still have a lot more lotions, and I just finished up a cream, but I wanted to finish that cream so it didn't go bad. The next one that I'm actually wearing today is Cotton Candy Clouds. I used a lot of like very cotton candy-ish scents this month. This is Spun Sugar, Pink Berries, and Wet Vanilla, another favorite of mine. And I know it's coming back at SAS, so I'm probably going to pick up a couple of sets of it. I have some of my own, and then my daughter wants a set or two of this too, so I'm going to get that for her. She loves using the shower gels and stuff. She uses a little bit of the mist, so... We will just figure out what's going to work for her in that instance. And the last one, sorry, now Curly's in here getting into things. The last one that I used this week, this is Fresh Amalfi Lemon. And I know there's going to be a review coming up for this one. I'm actually about to tape that in a few minutes. The notes are lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and cedarwood citrus. So you know what? I was surprised by this one. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not saying it's a love or a hate or anything else, but I was actually very surprised by how this came out in body care. I know in the past it's mainly been home fragrance, but I will be telling you, trust me. I think that's it for this video. 
I will talk to you later. Bye.